six furlong the trip. I've got magic. Part of the way in. Goes in. This is the Port Royal Sprint, ready for a start from Michael Sim. Six furlong the trip. Best of luck if you play the final triple, a triple. They're off and racing. That's a very good line. I've got Magic and El Profesor, though, out sprinted. Madeline Sunshine sending to an early lead, being attacked by Duke on the outside. So Madeline Sunshine, a length and a half in front of Duke as they pass the five. Recovering that is I've got Magic on the outside, right against the rail. That is excessive force in between horses. That is Eagle One. Behind those, that's Race Car and racing at the back of the field, El Profesor. They've left the four and heads towards the uh, three furlong point in the Port Royal Sprint. And it's Madeline Sunshine eking out a length and a piece just in front. Duke waited with right there in third. Coming on, the it coming, I've got Magic Racing in third. Curlin's Affair is right on their outside, cutting the corner and coming around. That is Eagle One. It's Madeline Sunshine in front. Duke right on the outside. Eagle One running a big one right against the rail. Madeline Sunshine still in front. Duke coming forward along with Curlin's Affair. Madeline Sunshine trying to keep them at bay, but the cavalry is charging. It's Madeline Sunshine and also Anthony coming forward. It's excessive force. Madeline Sunshine running out of gas, excessive force, trying to get to Madeline Sunshine, and excessive force grabs Madeline Sunshine in the Port Royal Sprint. Excessive force beats Madeline Sunshine. Looks like El Professor and uh, Eagle One together for third. In the winner's enclosure, the unofficial winner of race number eight, the Port Royal Sprint, number two, Excessive Force, five-year-old chestnut horse by Broken Vow, Fevered Kiss by Smart Strike, Bread Earn Ingram, Marit Farrell, and Mount Brilliant Farms, LLC, own ACK Stables, trained Filippiani OD, the winning rider, and that was a very good ride from Bevito Harvey. The groom, Devon Biggs. Second, number five, Madeline's Sunshine. Third, number one, El Profesor. And fourth, number six, Duke. Final time for 1,200 meters, 112 and one.
So excessive force runs. So excessive force runs on and nabs the favorite in the eighth race here at Kimanis Park in the hands of Benita Harvey. Benita, congratulations. Yeah, thanks very much. All right, take me from the gate, uh, the kind of break you had and how you picked your weight on the backstretch. Well, the most important thing I and the trainer have discussed is to get a perfect break and have him close to the pace. I know that they're faster than me, so I'm just going to leave him. If I get a great break, that's what I need, and from there, I just start to pick my position and watch the leaders from there. Uh, so you, you, you chose a path mid-track, or were you on the outside coming down? Well, for my break, I was on the rail, the shortest route, that's where I was. I want to step outside just to get a clear run from, I feel my ass ready to get rolling. And he asked, and he gave me everything that I asked him, he produced very nice. At the top of the way, two and a half furlongs out, Duke was challenging Madeleine Sunshine, turning for home, she got rid of him, and I thought, well, everybody thought that she would have gone away, and then here you came flying. At what point did you think you could reel the leader in? Well, as I said, from I left the two and a half, I realized that they're scattering out, and they start to get shelling a bit, I realized they're not going that fast. So from I leave the quarter pole coming down, I must get in the real momentum. I know that I have him. No matter how far you go, I know that we'll have him. Well, congratulations on the job well done. I wish you many more winners. Okay, thanks very much. Maybe to Harvey there, the winning rider. Excessive force at 7-1 to one, running on uh, to land the gamble here in race 8.